Dear Jean-Louis Bourlange, dear Frédéric Petit, dear friends, thank you for inviting me to address you today at the plenary session of democracy in Europe. I appreciate your solidarity and commitment to democratic Belarus. Last week I spoke at the European Parliament in Strasbourg about our European choice. I said that without Belarus and Ukraine, the European project will not be completed. And this is what we believe. We want to bring Belarus back to Europe, where it belongs. The situation in Belarus remains grim. The regime's iron fist has tightened its grip. My country is being eaten piece by piece. It is being devoured by a huge beast with imperial ambitions, Russia, aided by a homegrown dictator with an appetite for power, Alexander Lukashenko. The ambition mirrors Russia's goals in Ukraine to transform Belarus into yet another civil co colony. Putin and Lukashenko have taken 9 million Belarusians hostage, inflicting terror upon anyone who dissents. They are systematically wiping out our civil society, media, language and culture. Repressions are intensifying all the time. There are more than 1,500 political prisoners held under inhuman conditions. Last month, more than 500 were detained for voicing dissent or supporting Ukraine. Now the regime is trying to extend its repression beyond our borders. The tensions with our neighbors, Poland and Lithuania, show the unpredictable and dangerous policies of the Lukashenko regime. They are impacting not just Belarusian people, but the entirety of Europe. Today, Lukashenko takes revenge on exiled Belarusians by refusing to renew their passports at diplomatic missions abroad. For many, going back to Belarus to obtain a new legal document is not an option. It could mean arrest, torture or worse. Europe should give these people a legal status so they don't have to jeopardize their freedom by walking into a trap in Belarus. We are in the process of developing a new Belarusian passport that will be issued by the United Transitional Cabinet, confirming that its holder is a Belarusian citizen. Very soon we will produce specimens and then we will campaign for the recognition of these documents by national governments. We will also ask France to recognize this document. And despite all these challenges we are facing, our gaze remains firmly fixed on Europe. Our shared history and cultural ties remind us that Belarus too belongs to this community of nations that value freedom and human rights. I ask you to support our European aspirations. In August, our democratic forces made a joint declaration clearly expressing our European choice. Our ambition is to achieve the status of a candidate member of the European Union. We have to get rid of the dictatorship that is keeping us from Europe. Let me quote our Nobel Peace Prize winner, Alice Beliatsky, who is held as a political prisoner. Today, Belarus is at the crossroads of history. Where will it go? In 20 years, will it be a part of the Russian Empire or a truly European country? And it is here that France plays a pivotal role. France, a pillar of European democracy, a nation whose revolutionary spirit has inspired countless others, is an important ally in the Belarusian struggle for freedom. We have been closely collaborating with Frédéric Petit at the National Assembly and others dedicated to our cause. Our joint efforts are not just for the present. They are investments in a future where Belarusians can dream, speak and live freely. But the journey ahead is long and hard. As we move ahead towards a democratic Belarus, we need Europe to stand with us. We ask to acknowledge that the pursuit of freedom in Belarus is not just a regional concern, but a European one. You must hold Lukashenko and his henchmen accountable for their crimes. The dictator must be brought to the tribunal for crimes against humanity in Belarus and war crimes in Ukraine. It requires political will and will set an important precedent for other dictators around the world. I urge the representatives here today to recognize the urgency of the situation in Belarus, 
to rally behind our cause and ensure that the values of democracy, freedom and human rights are not just ideals penned down in documents, but are lived realities for every European, including the people of Belarus. In closing, I would like to borrow the words of Victor Hugo. There is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. The idea of democratic Belarus has arrived, and with Europe's collective will and support, it will become our shared reality. Thank you.